We are outside Genesis Cinema today, why it is the Clarissa Shields, Savannah Marshall press conference, and the release is here just to get some action and some bits. Let's head inside. I'm doing my prediction here with, I'm guessing one salt and one sweet, or they might both be sweet, but this one represents Savannah Marshall. So this is my prediction for Saturday night. I think it's gonna be a very close fight. It's gonna have to be run back for a rematch, but Marshall's gonna pick up this one. Shields or Marshall? Marshall? What do I do, eat it? Oh! <laughs> My prediction for Saturday night is Savannah Marshall, late TKO, but I think she might have to come from behind. As usual, I'm gonna sit relatively near to the fence. One for Shields, one for Marshall, majority draw. We go again. I cannot wait for this fight. 10 years in the making, Shields, Marshall, it's got needle, it's got spice. Who's the better? It's a 50-50 fight. Do you know what? I love both of them and I love popcorn. So thank you very much. I'm going to take some for Savannah, some for Clarissa. It's 50-50. I can't pick them. I want a rematch. I want a trilogy. It's that good. We're here. I can't believe we did an all-female card. I can't believe the interest. It is truly incredible. Um, when we started last year, women's boxing was a, was a major thing and it's to see it grow over the past five, ten years into something like this. No one could have expected this. No one could expect a fight of this magnitude, a card of this magnitude. And uh, yeah, it really is a pinch yourself moment for everyone involved. Um, incredible week we've got ahead. And Saturday night is going to be one of the biggest nights in boxing history. But just how much of an impact do you want to make in the professional ranks? Oh, massive. For me, um, I ticked every box as an amateur, you know. And for me, I just want to go on now and progress into the professional ranks and follow in the footsteps, you know, of like Katie Taylor. And yeah, I'm obviously on the right path. I've got a great team behind me um, in Sheffield, you know, with Rob McCracker and he knows the game inside out. Uh, I trust him as well. And we've had great prep, obviously, even though it was, you know, postponed for, for the circumstances. Uh, we went back into camp and lucky enough, we had China, France and Germany over. So we got some extra rounds in with them and ready to go for Saturday. You, you both said that you would never box on the same card. I mean, we spoke quite a long time ago and you said it's never going to happen. But this was an opportunity, I guess, that you just, you just couldn't turn down. It, are we going to see more of this in the future or is this just a one-off? It depends if there's any other cards as big as this one. This one's a cracking card. Obviously, I'm more excited for the co and the main event, to be honest, than my own fight. So, yeah, if there's a card as big as this, then you might be able to squeeze us both on it. I'm very excited. It's crazy, actually, now that I think about it, because some of these girls I was watching when I was 11 years old, watching them at the 2012 Olympics, you know. I remember watching, like, the likes of Clesha Shields and Savannah Marshall and just be b blown away by it, you know. They ignited a fire in me to want to have a dream to go to Olympics, and now I'm fighting on the same card as them. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. She said a lot of things. I'm boring, I'm flat-footed, I, I look the same as I did in the amateurs. To me, that just shows her ring IQ. She talks trash about the fight that I had with Hamadouche. Again, just shows her ring IQ that she's talking about the women's, women's fight of the year. So I know that I have improved. I'm constantly improving. When I go into my camps we are, with my coaches, we are constantly trying to get better and, and work on little detail. So um, again, her ring IQ obviously isn't as high as she says it is. Well, there's, there's a difference. You know, confidence is a thing. Her, my confidence is triggered by her. Again, as I mentioned before, every one of her fighters that she has fought has came to fight her and go back home. She has a fighter in front of her who is willing to fight her, who's telling her what it is, that I will beat her, that I will break her jaw. Whatever it is, I'm in her face. She does not like it. So this is a confidence we're dealing with. It's not really a, a, an anger standpoint. I'm a competitor at heart. I've been doing this sport since I was eight years old girl. I'm excited and um, to, to be at this stage, and we're fighting for the unification come Saturday night. I'm, I'm just ready to put it all out there. I have prepared very well for this fight, very well. All one, X's and O's um, I have one thing that are, I would like to So let me finish, for. let me finish, because You're you've been interrupting. IBO Bell, you... why do you keep bringing Okay, so the, let me, let me no check, offense let me to check the this IBO, but it's quick. not on the Hold line. On, let me this check this for real quick. Era, you, and you're you confusing chill? the public. for a second? Let me check this for real quick. No, why? Let me check you real quick. This girl 
again, is she's trying every angle. This girl is mad about an IBO belt that I won with my title. I'm very proud you're to have You're confusing my, the no, public. No, 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 I'm not. The I'm belt's proud. are already listen, confusing. I'm trying to listen, make it very you're trying, to, you're trying to listen. I it's know not on the line. Go so go take it pictures with it on Instagram, no, okay. but don't bring it. Don't bring y'all see the fight. Y'all see how she's hanging right now? What? Smile. It's not funny. It is funny. You're mad. I'm glad you take it li so lightly. You think I take? You think I'm taking it lightly? You think I'm taking it lightly? You're gonna find out. You're like you're done. We're replacing you. Really know that. You shut the up. You shut the up. Your horse face. Yeah. Don't be racist. Don't be racist. Don't be racist. Don't be racist. You racist. Okay. Come on. back on stage. I know she's mad. Yeah, I mean, first of all, Clarissa Shields, you can't argue with Clarissa Shields, what she's achieved. She truly is, at the moment, the greatest woman of all time. I really do believe that. What she's achieved in the Olympics, what she's achieved professionally. But this fight is a massive fight because at least half of the people in there believe that Savannah Marshall is going to win on Saturday night. And that comes from hard work. That comes from an unbelievable relationship with Peter Fury and Mick Hennessy, who, who helps me with her. And the way she's developed during the professional game has been nothing short of astonishing. We believe she's now the biggest name in UK female boxing. We believe after Saturday night, she's going to be the biggest star in women's boxing. But this is an incredible fight. And for me, if anyone says that they can predict what's going to happen on Saturday night, they are lying. I think uh, when you when you work hard and you put in extra work with more time and you know that you've done your homework and that you are very prepared, that's what builds confidence. People have fake confidence to where they don't work hard, to where they just show up just to sell the fight. But it's like, I know what I'm capable of and I know what I'm going to do Saturday. 100%, yeah. I think she does, yeah. She comes up, she comes up short. I believe I'm the better boxer than Clarissa. I believe I, I believe I always have been, and I cannot wait. Saturday come and co couldn't come quick enough. We had a 12-week camp, five-week pushback, and I, I, I'm just itching to get in there now. If she thinks she's still a better boxer than me from 10 years ago, she's mistaken. But we're going to let her think whatever she want to think and do whatever she want to do, because I'm going to adapt and do whatever I have to do to win and make the fight easy. This week you've been talking about knockouts. We haven't really heard you mention that before. It shows your intent. Savannah, what do you reckon to that? Yeah, I reckon she can try. She can try and knock me out. She can try at me, but if you've got it, you've got it. If you haven't, you haven't. It is I, what it is. That's not true. You fought against girls 3 and 25, 11 and 75, um, 11 wins, 75 losses, 3 and 25. You post and knock them out. No lie, you're supposed to knock those girls out, but when you fight against 24 and 0, 10 knockouts, 21 and 0, 10 knockouts, girls of that girls of that caliber, it's very hard to knock them out. Why is and it that's very why it's, it's going to be hard for you to knock me out. Why is it very hard to knock them out? What do you mean? Why is it hard? Because they're you competitive. Land. If you land on someone, you hurt them. If you land on a bum, down. if you land on a bum, what? And that means if you, you land on a bum. Out, means have, have I been knocked out? When I'm talking about you. Have I but I opponents? fought against other world champions yeah. who had and knockouts like you them, and I haven't been you knocked out. them, they go down. If you land on them and you've got you a land in pillow on bombs, fist, girl. they're not going to go anywhere. You land in you couldn't knock Emma Cozen out. You couldn't knock Hannah oh, Rankin not, out. You couldn't knock Emma Cozen out. Why? You couldn't knock Hannah Rankin out. Let's just put it this way. Start it. 12 and 0 as a pro and yeah. you haven't learned to finish anyone. Say, you cannot live off something that happened 10 years ago. And we both been pro five years, sis. I'm a 12-time world champ. Oh, my God. Right. Stop. Where are we at now? Stop. 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 Come and get these belts. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It stands for money. It stands for money. That's what it stands for, money. <laughs>